If you've been following me putting together art supply kits for my students for remote instruction, you might be interested to know what it is that I put in those kits and how I organized all of this. You might also be interested to know it took two full school days, actually two and a half full school days to do this. I couldn't have done this during school hours if the kids were here because it was an all day project. I have 65 kids in five different art classes and I put a kit together for each one of them so that they could work from home. So the first thing I did was I printed a blank um, attendance roster and I have folded it here uh, on the side and the top so as to um, protect the privacy of my students and my school. So, um, but this is an attendance roster that printed out from Infinite Campus. If you, you can print your own attendance roster however you want. I did it as a blank spreadsheet. That was the option I chose in Infinite Campus. And in each kit, I had a 10 set of colored pencils, a 10 set of washable markers, an eight pan of watercolor paint, eight, uh, two watercolor brushes, a pink eraser, two number two pencils, a glue stick, one pair of scissors, two pieces of watercolor paper, 10 pieces of drawing paper, two pieces of origami paper, one 11 by 14 inch canvas board, an eight by 10 inch canvas board, and a set of eight colors of acrylic paint. And you know, I just realized it's really only seven colors because I didn't have any orange, but never fear, they're gonna get a video about how to mix orange from yellow and red and then two acrylic paint brushes, okay? I just realized I didn't check all this off, although I did check it. So um, anyway, I'm gonna put my list aside now. Here is what I put in the kits. Here is that dollar store um, watercolor paints, a dollar store glue stick. These were actually a dollar each. These were four for a dollar. Dollar store scissors, which are really pretty good scissors for a dollar. Uh, dollar store washable markers, dollar store colored pencils, a set of 10, two number two pencils, these came 16 in a box for a dollar, those terrible watercolor brushes that I told you about, remember how I told you these are, these are actually good in that they are real animal hair, I don't know what animal. So they're absorbent, which is what you need for watercolor. They hold on to the water for you. But look at the bristles. I mean, they're just really not very good. I also have seven colors of paint, um, which we, I got the little solo cups here from our school cafeteria. And um, we put the paint in them. And then again, if you were watching my video the other day, you heard me say this is the one time that I'm just really grateful that my kids eat so much cottage cheese because we get about one of these buckets every other day uh, for use as water buckets. The cafeteria lady gives them to me. Um, and they got a pink eraser. Now, here's one of the brushes. I don't know if you saw my video about fixing the ferrule of your brush, but this is one of the ones that I fixed. This one wasn't broken to begin with. And um, what they got for acrylic paint brushes varied because I had a really limited supply. Some got these big, I tried to give them a big brush and a small brush. Some got tiny brushes and medium sized brushes. Some got huge brushes and medium sized brushes. Uh, some got flats, some got rounds. It just depended and it's basically gonna be first come first serve and they can figure it out later and I will talk to them about how to use each brush. In my supports kit, I have origami paper, an eight by 10 canvas board, 10 sheets of drawing paper, two sheets of heavy cold press watercolor paper, and one 11 by 14 canvas board. I felt like that would get us through 10 two-dimensional projects. I have one other project that we're gonna do, an extra one. We're gonna have three projects for the acrylic paint, but I'll make another video about that sometime. It's my collective mural. So if you wanna see the collective mural, check my YouTube station for the collective mural project. And feel free to ask me questions, comment on my page. If there's a video you'd like for me to make about uh, 
you know, what I did to prepare for remote instruction, just put it in the comments underneath this video.